This is at Bunsen Bill NYE. Thoughts on the NFL players taking a knee during the national anthem? Uh oh, this is socio political, Ian. We're getting, we're getting. <laughs> Stick to games, just like some people should stick to sports or stick to politics. Mm. Stick to whatever. They can stick to fucking their moms. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, that's not conducive for conversation. No, it's not. Um, I, I, I think my take on this is fairly well, anti-inflammatory. Well, well, you know what? Huh. This actually is connected to the games because we covered this topic before. Because Madden last year put in commentary about Colin Kaepernick kneeling during the anthem. Right. So it kind of is connected to the games a little bit. Even though he's out of the league right now. All right, so my thoughts on NFL players taking a knee during the anthem. I thought the original act of protest was uh, fine, and I, I thought the, the the original message was fine, which is um, a protest against uh, cop violence upon people uh, on on people of color. Uh, to break it down simply, um, it gained some minor support. And, uh, you know, some other football players uh, joined in with uh, Colin Kaepernick. Um, things came to a boil when uh, Trump uh, said that he'd like to see one of those owners, uh, you know, fire those sons of a bitch, fire those sons of bitches and get them off the field. At an Alabama rally. Yes, at an Alabama rally. Alabama man. Um, the terminology greatly bothered me. Um, you don't have to read too far into it uh, to, to kind of get a, a bad taste in your mouth beyond the fact that he's just weird and fucking going off on the NFL. Uh, anyway, so they, I, I think it's uh, their right to kneel, and I'm going to clarify things. I think it's absolutely their right to kneel. Um, I know a lot of veterans. Uh, Pat and I live in San Diego. It's impossible to not know veterans and live in San Diego. Which, I, which, by the way, which I think is funny. People say we live in a liberal haven. Haven. It's like, do you know how many how many naval and marine personalities are, are in San Diego? Yeah, people think all of uh, California is liberal, and California overall is a fairly liberal state. But San Diego is the conservative haven of. It's a pretty damn moderate. Uh, 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 our, our, well, our mayor is a Republican. It's it's the most conservative uh, city probably in San, in California. Yeah, but, but our mayor is a Republican. Yes. Anyways. I know lots of Marines. I know lots of people in the Air Force. I, I know lots of people who have served in the military, both family and friends. And honestly, I, 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 none of the ones that I have known have ever said that they fought so that you had to stand during the national anthem. It was your freedom to, to, to choose. Mm -hmm. um, so I have uh, also zero problems with people taking knees if they wanted to in the mass demonstration on, on Sunday. Um, I think it's a good thing. I, I think it needs to show that uh, it was needed to show that Trump can't be as divisive as he thinks he needs to or he wants to be. Um, but my my larger issue with it is this is this got lost somewhere along the way. This got mixed up and became a freedom of speech issue. And it's well, it's not necessary. It's not. Well, it got conflated with being disrespectful to the military if if you knelt during the anthem. I don't know how that happened. No, well, it got it got conflated into yeah. that. It got conflated into freedom of speech. It completely lost sight of all of what it was originally supposed to be, which was a commentary on um, racial violence. inequality and yeah. police violence. Well, and then it further to further muddy it up. It's a private business. Um, now it's great that the NFL stood together, but it's it's also really not a freedom of speech issue when you're working for a business. It, yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of nuance to this because one of the arguments against is well, that's weird. people people are protesting, and, and it's on their empl employer's uh, free time. But like 28 out of 32 owners came out in support of people's rights yes, to do it. So exactly. then it's no longer about working in an office and doing something that's gone. Roger Goodell put out a lukewarm, yet it's still a statement state. supporting players' rights to free speech. And the reason it became a free speech issue, though, is because the president basically said you shouldn't be able to do it. That's why right. it became a free speech issue, and that's why more players did it, because now I f they probably felt they had to show that this is our right to protest. Right. To have a president come out and say, you should be fired from your job because you're exercising your freedom of speech is really weird, even if, there, oh, yeah. even if there's a... a quote patriotic 
a backbone for the military behind to try to justify it. It's still strange for a, a sitting president to say you cannot peacefully protest. Because at the end of the day, if you kneel during the national anthem, who the fuck cares? It doesn't affect anything. If no. the cameras didn't show it, no one would know no. except for the few people in the stadium noticing it. And I guarantee you in past years, there are players probably still stretching or sitting on the bench uh, in past years that didn't care about the anthem going on. Yep. It, they just weren't focused on until they are now. It became an issue because the president forced it to be an issue. He brought it. He basically, he basically forced people, private citizens' hands, including millionaire owners, some of whom give had given money to Trump's campaign. Yeah, including people like uh, Rex Ryan, who campaigned. Rex Ryan. Rex Ryan, who campaigned, helped campaign for Trump. Even said, "I'm disgusted by this," because to them, you can say whether or not. The, the, this was, uh, for some reason, this was their bridge too far, but it was their bridge too far. There could have been other bridges that you might have said, maybe that should have been their bridge, bridge too far, too far yeah. but at least they got to it now where it's like, okay, this is an, enough. You have a sitting president saying that he has an issue with the First Amendment and that you should be fired for exercising it. That's fucking weird. It is. And that's not a Republican or Democratic thing. No, it's that's fucking an American weird. thing. That's like, that, I mean, that's just... So, Captain America wouldn't mind if players fucking kneel during the anthem. I don't have a character on my shirt. Oh, you don't. Okay. But yeah, Captain America wouldn't. And yeah, like I said, I uh, I was so happy to see it go down the way it did Sunday. Um, I thought it was fantastic. I it was just it all happened so fast, and like three different things got conflated into one. Yeah, really weird. And then uh, Trump had a tweet out: all ratings were down, and they were up three percent over games over the prior week. Yeah. Um, and then the pregame shows were like through the roof because people were wondering about this. Uh, to me, it's idiotic that w you have to debate this at all, to be honest. Um, if, if you don't want to stand for the anthem, you don't have to. Uh, because this goes back to, hell, I, I saw this at a fucking Yankees game of all places back in like 2005. And that's where they do God Bless America during the seventh inning stretch. Um, and I remember a guy in front, not standing during the anthem, getting into a shouting match with someone else. Like, uh, you know, it is what it is. You're in the Bronx. There's someone going to throw down at some point at a Yankees game. But they had the argument in front of me saying, why aren't you standing? You don't love America. And he says, it's my right. I don't have to. Yeah. And it's your right. And now it's been confirmed by the NFL. And it's been confirmed by most of the owners. It's your right. That's it. It's peaceful protest. Yep. Doesn't matter what you're what you're protesting or why you're doing it. Or, the, or I always said, doesn't matter if I think the efficacy of, of doing that could be off. It's your right to do it. And that's it. And if, if, if you can't if you can't come to come to me there, it's your right to do it. I don't know what the hell we're gonna agree on. on. Right. I really don't. If we can't agree on that, that's your right to do it. You can disagree saying it's crappy to do, it's still your right to do it. It's 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 also I think I hate this. I also find it really disrespectful when people just assume that all of these troops or people who died in wars oh, are bullshit. being disrespected. That's fucking gross. Yeah. I would like to think a lot of those people did die for their country underneath the auspices of freedom. Yeah, sure. I, um, I know a person that, for this country, has probably... He's, he's, he's one of the nicest guys. He's probably killed some people for this country. And if, if I asked him today, he'd be like, I don't fucking care if you kneel. Say, yeah. what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Right. That's exactly how he would respond. And then he'd scare me talking about the tale of killing someone maybe 25 years ago. Anyway, that's all. So, <laughs> um, it's not, it's not a... It's not a gaming topic, very loosely connected to Madden last year, but hey, Ian and I can speak about whatever we want in the CU podcast. Yep, we can. We only made that loose-ass tie to please someone who will inevitably complain. State the gaming! Oh, you don't have to listen. You clicked on this. I didn't click on it. 